Okay, guys, so let's learn how to dimension an inventor. And remember, this is dimensioning in terms of putting the measurements on the actual orthographic drawing, not just putting dimensions on a sketch when you're trying to constrain it to create the model. So the first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up your IDW, um, and you're going to have your front view, your top view, your side view, and your isometric. And you guys all know how to do that at this point. And you're going to come up here to the top, and you're going to click on Annotate. And there's a whole bunch of options here. We're just going to stick with the simple one for right now, and we're going to click Dimension. Now, if you remember the Roush's Rules of Dimensioning that y'all taped in your notebook, there's an order in which to dimension. So I'm going to suggest you start with the overall width. And you guys know you can find width in the front and top view. And if you don't remember that, you have that in your notebook. So I'm going to click this corner and you see I get a green dot and I'm going to click this corner and you see I get a green dot and I'm just going to drag the number down and click and it's going to open a dialog box and I'm just going to press OK. So now I should do the location dimensions for width. That means the smaller widths. For example, this measurement here and this measurement here. But remember, we want to keep our dimensions um, shared across all of our views. We don't want them all on one view. So for this one, we can click on this corner and click on this corner and bring the number down and it's going to be 0.5. And same thing over here. And now we're going to do the overall height. The best place to do height in this um, project is going to be in the front view, I think. So we'll go here. And then I'm going to get the height location of these two because see there's a, a change in that height. So I'm going to click this line and I'm going to click that line and I'm going to drag it out. And it's going to put the location dimension for the height. And finally we're going to do depth. So with depth we're going to put the depth in the side view. And remember depth is here to here in the side view or it's here to here in the top view. And we don't want our side view to be naked. And since it's got the hidden line, we're going to make sure we put something there. Now, I need the depth in the top view to show this change because I've got this line here and this line here. So I'm going to click here, and I'm going to click there, and I'm going to put the number on it. The best way to handle dimensioning, guys, is to, to give it a shot. You can always delete dimensioning dimensions if you put too many on there. You can always add dimensions if you need more, but go ahead and give it a try. Have your neighbor look at your drawing, see that you got all of the dimensions that are required. Work off the list I gave you, overall width, um, location dimensions for width, overall height, location dimensions for height, overall depth, location dimensions for depth. And this is something that just takes a lot of practice, so Give it a go and see what you got.